What's up, family? Welcome to Mini Bites session 47. And today's theme is Let the Tea Steep. Let the tea bag steep. My name is Erin McCluskey, and I'm a mindset and performance coach. If you want to learn more about my work, please visit my website at www.erinjewelcoaching.com. That's E-R-I-N-J-E-W-E-L-L-C-O-A-C-H-I-N-G.com. So today we're going to talk about this idea, letting the tea steep, letting the tea bag steep. So you know when you make tea and you place the tea bag in the, you know, cup of hot water and you want to go ahead and you want to drink it right away, but it's not ready yet. If you drink it right away, you're not getting the full benefits of the yummy nutrients inside of that tea that you've made. So, you know, what do you do? You sit there. What do I do? I sit there. Sometimes I sit there quietly waiting for maybe three to four minutes. Um, maybe I'll set it aside and I'll go do something else and I'll come back, um, maybe 10 or so minutes later. But it's, it's funny. It came up for me because recently I was waiting for it to steep and I felt like it was taking forever. And meanwhile, it's possible that only a few minutes had passed. If that, maybe it was even 30 seconds when I felt like I was ready to go ahead and, and drink my tea. And so just a really fun metaphor for our, our time together today, because the thing is, I do this a lot. I go to create something for myself. I've created something for myself. I've accomplished something. Um, I had a big milestone in my journey yesterday. Those of you who, who saw that on social media and supported that, thank you. And it's like now there's this part of me that's ready to, to sort of move on to the next big accomplishment. And as an achiever, that's what I do. It's, it's always next, 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 what's next. And so reminding myself that when I make myself tea, which is usually at night, I like to enjoy tea at night. I make it and then I let the, the bag sit inside of the mug for a period of time before I begin to drink it. And the reason for that is so that I can get the maximum benefit of this thing that I've created. And, you know, again, it's just, for me, it's applicable in so many ways. I mean, as I go about my day, even when I go for a run, you know, today, um, today was a challenging day for a run for me. I had some pain in my left knee and I had to um, actually stop short of the distance that I wanted to do to give myself a chance uh, to my me a chance to relax and I ended up walking uh, back to my car and that was fine um, you know I think part of what happened was I pushed myself a lot during the run and for a part of that run I started running really fast and I haven't really been training like that and so I wanted to see a result sort of before my body was ready to produce that result and the response was these kind of sharp um, lateral knee pains toward the end of my run. And so kind of like with the tea, you know, I go ahead and I, I put the tea bag in the tea and I start drinking the tea right away. And let's say it's a calming or a soothing tea like chamomile. And let's say I put the tea bag in the tea right away and then I start drinking it right away. And I finish the tea and I'm sitting there and I'm awake and I can't fall. I don't feel tired or I don't feel sleepy and I wonder why and I said well I just had this tea or today like when I was running and I'm running really fast and I'm pushing it pushing it pushing it um, more so than normal much more so than normal much more quickly than I usually do and then all of a sudden I have pain in my knee and it's like well why do I have pain in my knee where did this come from and it's just recognizing for me it's about having that awareness that you know sometimes if I try to Kind of force things or accelerate the pace of something or um, receive the benefits of something before I've given it a chance to sort of percolate and acclimate. So I'll use another example. Going through uh, the executive MBA program that I went through, I can recall wanting to get a job, a new job, like changing, wanting everything to change before I had even graduated from the MBA because I thought, well, that's what I'm supposed to do. I I did this 
program for a reason and I should be changing jobs or maybe I should even be starting my own company. And, um, and sure enough, there were some substantial changes in my career that happened immediately after graduation, which was great. It worked out perfect. But I sometimes, when I reflect, there are no regrets, but there is that reflection of how much was I able to acclimate? Did I really let the, the tea steep and, and drink and receive the maximum benefit as it related to the MBA program? And, and for me, I think because I jumped into something new so quickly, that was wonderful for me. But then later on, a few years later, I graduated in 2010 and here we are 2019. It was a few years later that I started to once again see and receive more of the benefits from, from that program um, that it's possible I, I could have received right after the program, but I dove into something else and I sort of drank the tea before um, the tea was steep. So, you know, really in, in closing today, it's about remembering to uh, steep the tea and, you know, maybe just pause and be present while that happens and then being open to receiving the maximum benefits. Love you all until the next time.